Hey guys, Mary J. I'm June 20th at 5 o'clock. Um, I forgot to do an intro this morning. <laughs> so yeah, I have an unknown shaking condition, life on medication, several disabilities, so I relax throughout my day so you guys know what it's like having all the issues that I do. These, Those are only just some of the issues that I have. <laughs> Like I said, I have a whole playlist on how I was born different, so I have to <clears throat> put that into my daily struggles and the pain that I'm constantly in. So <clears throat> it kind of sucks, but um, tomorrow I'm going for Shiatsu, so I think that's going to really help. And uh, I'm going to go to Taiso beforehand so I could order some more cat litter, even though I only have one, two cats now, I still need cat litter, and the good thing about them is that they actually carry it straight to your door, so it's a little easier, um, I have been shaking on and off a bit, so if you look at the cup, <laughs> it's kind of shaking a little bit, but I'm not shaking totally too much, like I, like I usually am, but I have been shaking a little bit, so, I have to take my medication and go to bed because I didn't take medication yesterday because I was too tired and I just passed out. So I'm trying to wait for when <laughs> the shaking stops so I can drink my coffee. <clears throat> so yeah, um, I think I blocked the people that I was talking about because I did go up on the um, on the top of their profile, but all I said all I saw was hide users. So I think that's the same thing. Yeah, it's, still, it's kind of still shaking, but not as much. So if I don't take my medication, I'm like this 24-7 where I'm shaking. And that's worse than sleeping all day. So I'd rather be sleeping than shaking, because when I'm shaking, <clears throat> I can't even um, drink or eat. So, But you can kind of see it in my hands. Like right now, I'm... It's shaking a little bit, the cut, so, yeah, I really wanted to work on some videos, but then I'm just like, no, I gotta take my medication, <laughs> so hopefully later I could, like, wake up around 9 or 10, and usually at nighttime it seems like it's a little better, because I sucked up most of the day, and then my allergies don't bother me as much, so I could wear my makeup. It's just so frustrating to, uh, <laughs> there you go, the shaking, to, um, <clears throat> drink when my body is shaking, so, that's something like that, it's frustrating. But I do need a, at least coffee just to let me stay awake so I can eat and um, do a little bit of things, so... I don't really drink that much coffee, I only really drink maybe three cups per day, three to four cups per day. It's just that I'm always drinking coffee on camera. <laughs> uh, it's just really annoying when I'm shaking because it's like, ah, I want to drink my coffee, but I can't. So that's why I'm like, that's why I don't want to date because I have to deal with this. It's like, <laughs> yeah. Maybe if I had better experiences, or if there's somebody out there that grips my interest, maybe one day, like, I keep saying I do have a few crushes on a few YouTubers, but <clears throat> nothing really ever happens, and, um, yeah, I, I have been talking to the, that guy in New York, but <clears throat> he's too far away, so that will probably... And I don't think he's interested in me like that. But who knows? I mean, it's too bad he's not on YouTube. <laughs> but <clears throat> it's nice getting likes from people that I actually like. Um, and then the other thing that I was saying was that the guy that I'm talking to right now, he's 27. <laughs> So I've always liked younger guys, but to me, age is just a number. Like, guys my age, they don't like me because they say that I act too young and that I look too young. So, <clears throat> there's only been, like, maybe two guys that I dated 
that were like around my age. Because like I said, guys my age, they just think I look young. They said that I look like I'm in 20, so. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Which is fine because I prefer younger guys, but. Like I keep saying, I'm not really interested in a relationship right now. Because this is enough to deal with, but um, I do love watching Twisted Minds because of James, he's the host of the show, but I have a huge crush on him, <laughs> he's like one of my first crushes on YouTube, but that's because I'm into crime and crime and all that stuff, so yeah, but <clears throat> hopefully I block those people, I haven't been getting any weird comments, so that's good. So yeah, I didn't spend that much time with family because I was shaking a bit and I've been feeling tired, so I was like, yeah, I, I gotta take my medications. <laughs> so we just walked back and there's um, a video that I showed, I think on Valentine's Day with bunnies. So on the way where we walk towards the school, there's like lots of bunnies that are outside. So we always record them, and I think they were breeding them for a while, but now they don't have that sign up uh, bunnies for sale anymore, so I guess they're not selling them. Or I guess maybe just their bunnies had bunnies, so they were trying to sell them and now they're not, but they're usually always outside, so they're fun to watch. Um, <coughs> that's, I don't remember the address, it's like somewhere on Maine and... 33rd-ish area, but it's like a side house, but there's usually bunnies outside, so they're cute. <laughs> I was like, I wouldn't mind getting a bunny, but nah, <laughs> not really. You know, if I were to get a pet, it'd be a ferret or a rat, because those I know how to look after. So, yeah, as you guys can tell, I'm extremely exhausted that I'm not really making sense. <laughs> kind of rambling. Um, I did watch uh, Life Plus Cindy's news blog, so I'm really glad that she's starting over and actually getting back into her hobbies again and trying to help me to get back into it, so... That's why I keep saying, that's why I, I needed life plus a new back, because it's my distraction <laughs> from my life sometimes. Like, some people watch my channel because they want a distraction from their life, and I'm like, so that's why I watch her channel. So, yeah. But I'm going to do an update video, hopefully when I wake up, because... Now I'm pretty much almost caught up. I just have two more, the two more lives to watch, which is the opening the subscriber gifts. But <clears throat> I'm not going to watch that tonight because I'm going to watch Twisted Minds. <laughs> I only stop shaking. So it comes and goes. And that's why when I have guys sitting on me, and then I tell, I tell them, I have an unknown shaking <laughs> Believe me, you don't want to date me. Because, yeah, I can't control this uh, condition that I have. So, like, even in my arm, you can kind of see it shaking. <clears throat> so none of this is fake whenever I show you guys. If it, if it is fake, I'll tell you guys. Like, at the beginning of this condition, for the new people, um, it was like, this was me. It was like this. Non-stop, constantly, for like the first six months, because they wouldn't put me on medication. Now it's just like this, on and off. And actually, I'm not faking that. I was doing it on its own. So it's, it's really hard to fake, constantly. So that's why I, so I try to show it, so people understand what the shipping condition is. And a lot of people think it's Parkinson's disease. I'm like, no, I've been tested for that. I've been tested for everything. I've almost had this condition for three years in September. So, yeah, it's, it's a lot. So, 
Didn't get to spend too much time with family today, but I'm also still kind of getting over the whole thing with hope. So I think next weekend will be uh, will be a little better. Um, still kind of hard for me to take a shower because I keep thinking of hope coming into the shower after I'm done. She doesn't do it. She doesn't jump up on the counters and she's not on the window cell anymore. But I know she's not suffering, so that's the main thing. She's not suffering like we are. <laughs> and yeah, I know I'm not I'm not technically really suffering. It's just that's what it feels like sometimes because there's so much I want to do and I just can't do it because of my condition and my disabilities and stuff. So it gets really frustrating and it's not painful when I'm shaking but it's uh, emotional painful and then because I shake when I'm shaking like when I just was shaking <clears throat> my body gets tired out from all the shaking. That's another reason why I'm so tired. On top of the medication. So, yeah. Kind of sucks. That's why I go. Sometimes I feel like I'm suffering. But I know it could always be worse. And that's why I keep saying things. It could always be worse. I could be living in a home. Yeah, I don't want to live in a home. <laughs> it's too expensive. My friend says his friend who has the same shaking condition as I do. But that's all that he has lives in a home and they got a pool and they got like hot tubs and stuff like that. I'm like, yeah, but it's freaking expensive. <laughs> and I don't think my disability would cover that. So I, mean, I don't really want to live in a home, not until I can't look after myself. So as long as I sleep and take my medication, then I wake up and then I can do stuff. So it's not the end of the world yet and it's not like it's it hasn't come to that point yet <clears throat> and I can't bring my cats so <laughs> that's the other thing I have to drink it fast before it starts shaking again so yeah I'm just going to warm up my pasta that I made yesterday and then I have so much that I need to cook and I've prepped for it. It's just, can't really do it when I'm shaking. So that's when I got to take my medication and go to sleep. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully later I could do some videos. Which is, and then before, right after I watched Gilmore Girls and I, I like literally passed out for like 15 minutes. <laughs> So I kind of had to rush out because I like, crap, I fell asleep, so, yeah, that's not good either, but at least on transit, I sleep a lot on the bus, <laughs> so that's not too bad, so yeah, I don't know exactly how much I'll film tomorrow, but it all depends if I'm awake or not, too. But I usually, uh, like I said, I usually fall asleep during shiatsu, so I feel refreshed when I get up and I don't shake for a while, so it's not too bad. <clears throat> but yeah, we'll see. So hopefully tomorrow I can leave around noon or one, because then I could go to Tyso, and I could go pay off my smokes, get the current smokes, hopefully get my phone screen uh protector fix because there's so many cracks in it now and i've been putting tape masking tape on the side so it'll stay so and then it's hard to text people back sometimes because i can't really see sometimes with my phone so I need to get that fixed but i also get that done where i get my smokes because there's a small uh, phone place in Tinsel Town? Yeah, in Tinsel Town. And they only charge like 30 bucks and they're pretty fast. So I like going in there because I usually go get my like Starbucks and then the phone's usually done by then. So, 
Yeah, we'll see how much I get done tomorrow. I kind of look at it now like a game, like how much can I get done today? <laughs> what can I do tomorrow? Kind of eyeball it, so it's not that bad, but <clears throat> yeah, it is a lot to uh, take and deal with, so. That's okay. I'm happy being on my own because I get to sleep. And like I said, keep saying, I'd rather be sleeping than shaking. And I don't want to date because I'd rather be sleeping than dating. <laughs> so, yeah. My hair is so long. I kind of want to cut it, but then I don't want to cut it because I still like having it down long. So. But yeah, for my information videos, which is basically when I talk about stuff, like about being on disability and like placidity and stuff like that, that's what I call information videos. And I try to, at least have makeup on and get dressed up for it because those are the important videos, it's not like vlogs. Vlogs are just like everyday kind of normal thing. It's actually easier to vlog than anything because I don't really have to worry about what I look like that much. And it's just another way to get more people to my channel. So yeah, um, because even though I do this for myself and other people. I am trying to get uh, more subscribers because I do eventually want to make money off YouTube. Because I have been making money off YouTube through donations, which is good. And then I got a free plug from it, so that's not bad. But the more subscribers I get, the more I could like do ad revenue and all that stuff. So. Thinking of different videos I could do that brings in more people. <laughs> so I think uh, that's how I found some YouTubers is when they were talking about their how much money they get and what they spend it on. That's a big one. And what's it like having a condition like a medication, pros and cons, that kind of thing. So. Yeah, trying to think of other ideas, so if anybody has any ideas for videos that are popular on YouTube, let me know. I know challenges are a good one, that's why I did that sexy dance challenge, but then because of Pope I had to stop it. So I think I'm going to start that again next week, hopefully, after the weekend. So, yeah, I'll let you guys know, but I am going to start it up again. And that's not the only reason why I've been getting hit on by guys, because even my vlogs channels where my vlogs videos where I'm not wearing makeup, I'm still getting hit on, so <laughs> it's not just because of the dancing, that's just part, so, and I keep telling everybody too the reason why I do it is because it's my form of exercise and to make me feel good about myself because just because we're stuck at home and we feel like shit half of the time doesn't mean we have to look like it. <laughs> so that's why I want to do the sexy dance challenge again, but it'll probably be next week because this, I want to get all those information videos out of the way first. So yeah, if you guys have any ideas for videos, let me know. Um, because there's only a few that I, that I have stuck in the back of my mind. Um, but yeah. Um, if you guys like my channel, make sure you share it because more people can subscribe. And come on over. <laughs> come on over. I can't sing. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so. Anyways, I'm gonna get ready for bed because I'm rambling but I've been listening to Headstones and some 41 nonstop. because <laughs> I love the Headstones who do in this like one of my idols is my idol and um, if you guys don't know who the Headstones are check them out 
One of my favorite songs is, uh, Fuck It. <laughs> it goes, I feel good right now. I met you say. Kind of like, ooh, your life is crappy, but then it feels like it's good, and then it goes back to being crappy. And you feel like it's a setup when things are being good, so it's a good song. And then they have a song called Fuck You, which is one of my favorite songs, uh, where I got first track of them. And, um, Headlight Holds a Deer is another one of my favorite songs from their newest album. So, yeah, huge Hitstone fan. I've been fan a fan of theirs. I don't even remember when I started being a fan. <laughs> I know I was in my teens because I was still doing drugs so at that time and that's why I got off it it's because of the huge Dylan and this story so yeah he's, he's very inspiring and he's like cause he's almost in his he's either in his 60s or close to his 60s and he's still rocking out like badass I'm like jeez I'm only in my 40s and I'm I can't even stay awake more than five hours. But then, um, he also knows, but then I'm also, like I said, I have this condition and, like, my medication. And I actually did a video on the last concert that I went to. Um, <clears throat> how he took a selfie with me during the show. And he even, he kept checking on me during the show. He's like, are you, are you okay? Are you okay? Because he, cause he knows that that I had the condition, so it's really sweet, <laughs> and it makes me feel special because he's he, my idol. Um, he still remembers me, and we don't talk as much, but we talk like on th shows and stuff like that. So, and like the whole band remembers me, so that's cool. But yeah, uh, yeah. I miss those days. <laughs> Anyways, check out the Headstones. They're awesome, awesome band. I wish I could go to Calgary right now because they're playing there for the Stampede. But, yeah, I don't think I'll be able to go out there. One day I want to follow them. They're the only band that I've actually followed to um, a show from, from a city to a city. So I went to their VIP in Victoria one week and then they came to Vancouver the next following week and then I went to the show the same week <laughs> so that's why he remembers me and I think that's why he remembers me because I keep because uh, I gotta meet him and I keep telling him how he's my idol and how he changed my life so you Dylan check them out <clears throat> unfortunately he's married but <laughs> he's still my idol so yeah you Dylan Huge fan. I gotta get back into Flashpoint again. That's a good show. So, yeah. Um, anyways, I'm rambling on too much. So, I will talk to you guys later. I'm gonna get ready for bed. Again, I gotta take my medication. And, uh, yeah. I'll keep you guys updated, updated later on tonight. So, turn on notifications. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and let me know if you guys have any ideas for videos as well. So thank you for watching, and love you guys. Uh, it really does help having a place to talk about everything that I went through, so it's really, really means a lot. So yeah, I do appreciate you guys. As long as you guys don't hit on me. <laughs> Most of I like you. And I'll tell you if I like you. Because I always tell guys that, that I like them when I like them right away. So. Yeah. Anyways. Um, once again check out Hugh Dillon. He's my idol. And I will talk to you guys later. You're on Phantom Stories. Welcome to my haunted world. XOXO OG. Opera Ghost.